I think what is a learning curve is seeing if I can sit off the field without, you know, as a coach you don't get involved during the game, but at least you're part of the build-up and a part of the preparation. So I'll have to see if I've got the patience uh, to be able to sit and, and, and watch the whole thing. But hopefully dealing and mixing with spending time with the players, I'll, I'll still be able to do a little bit of coaching. But yeah, a very new role, and it's a part of evolving as an individual. You know, as a cricket player, you always evolve. You have to work on your technique and your skills. So yes, I'm trying to improve my skills as a human being. Uh, I would just like to take you a couple of minutes back to the T20 World Cup final. When Surya Kumar took the catch, so you know you are such a great builder. So were you happy to see that catch, and maybe oh my God, he just lost, cost us the game. So what was your feeling? Yeah, I, I think as a, as a fielding coach, I always respect my players and the opposition who've done something that can turn the game. I mean, there's no guarantee, had it gone for six, that Miller could have carried on hitting the ball out the park. But it certainly shows that catches can win matches in, in T20 cricket. And, and it's, it's one thing, when teams are that close together, I mean, India had a great tournament, South Africa had, had fought their way through, they hadn't played the greatest of cricket, but they'd shown they were real fighters. Um, India had dominated the way that they played. And, and the teams were that close that it was literally two meters away from, you know, possibly the game going in, in South Africa's favor. So, yes, mixed emotions. But as a fielding coach and someone who's very closely associated, associated to India, I was really happy that the game-changing moment for me was probably a, a good piece of fielding. Uh, you know, I will make an option. The option is not approaching. Uh, one thing... That comes to mind, you know, impact rule and uh, the retention, our team. So Ashwin, Ravichandran Ashwin, recently spoke that he backs the impact rule because it offers more strategy. Uh, do you share the same views or do you have something a bit different on that? Well, I mean, that's what the opinions are. They, they, what, that's your view. I'm happy for Ashwin. He's a real thinker. He's a real thinker of the game, you know, and I think maybe... That's what he loves, and from a strategy perspective, that's something he excels at, because whether, whether he's batting even or, or bowling in the field, he's certainly somebody who you feel like he's always thinking about what to do next. But from my perspective as a coach, um, I also want to see you know, all-rounders being developed because it's only in this particular brand of cricket that you've got the impact rule. And all-rounders are so important to the strength of, of cricket, I think, because you know, if, you haven't, if you haven't got somebody who can bowl the overs or or bat in the top six or seven, then the, the team will be out of balance of sorts. So, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the impact rule, um, but I am somebody who is always ready to embrace change. And, and it's, been, it's been around now for two seasons, and, and you've seen sides that have taken it on really, really well. I think a lot of us for the first year didn't quite get it right. And, um, you know, but, but what happened was a lot of teams put their squads together with the all-rounder with, before the impact rule came into play. So maybe it, it, it disrupted the balance of the team slightly. So, like I said, I'm, I'm happy for change. I'm not close to anything. But I'm, I'm someone who wants to see all-rounders not dominate, but certainly get, get the credit that they deserve for, for the role that they have in a side. Uh, just a hypothetical situation. Uh, Kale Rahul is the captain right now. If it comes to you, would you like to retain him for the next season? Well, luckily, hypothetically or in real life, that's as a fielding coach, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just now, final question. Uh, the right to match rule, uh, in which you know you can match the uh, player in the auction and take him back. So Ashwin was quite critical about that, and it hasn't been used since 2018. Uh, would you like to see that in mega auction? Ashwin, is he again making statements and <laughs> thinking too much about the game? Um, you know, I'm, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm not somebody who's set in my ways. As a cricket player, I had to adapt and evolve. Whatever is decided, I mean, I don't make those decisions. So um, whatever we handed down, we will make sure that it, it, it works, hopefully, in our situation. So I don't have a, an opinion on yes or no with regards to the right to match. Uh, so one question. Would you like to see Rohit Sharma uh, you know, in your team? I mean, I, I, for a long time at Mumbai Indians, I felt I had the best job in the world. I got to watch Rohit Sharma practice and play cricket. He is so elegant. I mean, there's the balances of teams, who's in the side. Um, you know, I, I love watching Rohit Sharma bat, but I'm not saying he must come in and, and, and replace and, and, and then suddenly we, we change our setup. 
So whatever, as I said, whatever happens, who is ever there, I'll be doing my bit as the fielding coach to support.